Okay, budget day in Westminster. Literally just come out of the chamber, just grabbing a bite to eat and uh, trying to consume the Red Book, which is a massively thick document with all the detail behind the budget. Now look, people ask me all the time that they want more spending for things in the constituency in Winchester and Charles Ford and across the country. Without a stronger economy for the British people, there is no public spending. That was at the basis of the Chancellor's statement today. I'm very really pleased with it. Some of the highlights that I've scribbled down in my notes here. I mean, the, the inflation figures were sobering, but I'm glad to know that he's on top of that and that he's very much pushing the bank around their mandate because the public sector pay rises that we heard about today, and we'll see detail on that next year from the pay review bodies, are very welcome. That can't lead to inflation because that will hurt working people. Right at the very end, changes to the taper around universal credit will very much help people on the lower income of working. I'm very pleased to see that. Other stuff for me that I like, I think the alcohol duty stuff will be very much welcomed by, by small producers, by the pubs in the constituency. The business rates announcement, well, I wasn't expecting uh, that, that, but the full review of business rates that we've been calling for for a long time came to fruition today, and I would say that the 50% one-year discount for most of hospitality um, is very, very welcome, and, and it's something that we've been calling for. Um, extending the tax relief for theatres, I think the Theatre Royal in Winchester will be very uh, big thumbs up for that, very pleased to hear about that. And changing, uh, which we can now without uh, the constraints of the uh, European Union's legal framework, changing air passenger duty for domestic flights within the UK, that will be very welcome for jobs and investment at Southampton Airport. So there was an awful lot to it. I was very pleased to see that the 0.7% UK aid commitment, that will return in 24-25 as the economy returns to health, which we promised it would, although I didn't want to see it cut at all. It was an absolute red line that it had to return when the economy was back to health and the Chancellor promised that and he delivered on that by announcing it in his budget today. Let me just end where I always start, which is NHS spending. NHS spending at the start of this Parliament will be £133 billion. At the end of the Parliament will be £177 billion. That is priority NHS. So it was a very strong speech from the Chancellor, a realistic speech from the Chancellor, and he ended by saying this, government has limits. It's not always about what is the government going to do, it's about the government enabling. That was a thread that ran through the budget today. There'll be more information on all of this as I consume the Red Book on my Facebook page.